Right, so welcome to my garden shed. <laughs> um, I'm going to go fishing, but uh, basically it's Hurricane Higgins and rivers are a bit of a mess, so I couldn't be bothered. So I thought I'd quickly try and do a video. A few of you have been asking me about uh, the gator gum lures that we've been using, and in particular how we're rigging them. Uh, so I thought I'd show you that. It's pretty simple, um, but some of you will like to have a see all the nitty gritty and reasons why and that so I'll try and just cover a little bit show you a few ways of doing it and um, the ways I've been trying to do it and also uh, what I've kind of settled on at the moment so what I've got is a big box of soft plastics various soft plastics um, and I, I take this one on boat with me uh, just because it can have a, a variety of, of softies in so what I started doing first uh, that's a 17 centimetre gator gum Show it to both cameras, 17 centimetre gator gum. Um, and what I've used is uh, a BFT flex head, uh, a split ring, I mean I just used some, um, I think that, that was, I don't know, have a look at it, that's 60 pound wire, so it's quite strong, um, and, a, and, a, and a hook. I quickly made, see there, BFT screw head which I'll show you I've got some somewhere there go. so that's the BFT flex head quite a large size compared to that one so different weights they come in different weights um, obviously on that one I want to run it quite shallow so I've got a, a, a quite a, a light rig on um, now that's not the neatest that were quickly chucked up it's not the neatest rig ever but it'll do you a job uh, and what you'll find with this rig is this wire <laughs> that's an awful job but that wire there that'll get that'll become kinked after a few fish it'll still it'll still work it'll still be alright but after a while you're going to start wanting to change it um, but basically split ring swivel so it can spin on, on it and your idea is that your lure's going to break free your fish is going to have it in its mouth and that's going to swing free um, and basically all you need to do is just just pin it, you know you can buy pins or you can look at that one that's a really rough cheapo made one, that one I didn't have no pins and basically you want to pin it to a body otherwise when your load's swimming through water it's going to have a hook hanging down so you pin it to a body like so and then your hook's in a good place I found these 17 centimetres um, that, that one hook is quite enough I've not been missing fish um, if to get it, especially if it's a decent sized pike, it's going to come up behind it and grab it or come from the side and grab it and that hooks, whether it goes for head or tail or back end or whatever, it's got it so that hooks in a perfect position um, so one hook, that's a really really rough rig like I say, it's uh, not the best but it works um, and what you've got on there, 60 pound, the 60 pound wire uh, your actual weak link is, is that split ring there now that split ring there is only rated to forty pound. So if I get that stuck, get that stuck in something, I'm going to pull and pull and pull, and basically I'm going to lose a hook, a wire, swivel, and my pin. So at least I get the low and the flex head back. But I've lost quite a little bit of stuff. So I'll show you. I'll show you how I've evolved um, to try and make it a little bit better, so I lose even less tackle. So the next thing that I tried after that, without breaking my table was this one same thing 17 centimetre 17 centimetre gator gum v exactly the same rig apart from uh, I changed the hook that's, a, that's an owner hook rather than an eagle claw just because that's probably what I had handy um, but I've used titanium there and that is that is not too kinky titanium wire I've crimped it but it's exactly the same rig you can see there exactly the same apart from that wire is different so the wire, in my opinion, will last longer. It's not the neatest crimp, but I've tested it, I've yanked it, and it's not going nowhere. They're actually um, double bow crimps, um, and I couldn't actually tell you what size they were because I'm rubbish at that kind of stuff. But uh, so that's the next, that's the next way of doing it. Exactly the same. BFT flex head. You can just see there's no difference apart from the wire. Um, it's obviously a neater job. Obviously a neater job on the titanium one, although. Some people might want to put sleeves over those crimps and make it tidy, but to be honest, I'm not that fussy for it. I'm not one for. Uh, I'm a rough and ready piker, and I'm not that fussed about it being looking perfect. Um, 
some people would never go out and use that but that's for me I'm not too fussed. Um, so then what I evolved into is, oh that's a 22 centimetre that's absolutely battered, ripped to bits, it's got, well, teeth marks and been welded back together. But my rig on this one is, is, is evolved even more. Let me just unpin it. The difference on this one, uh, the, the immediate difference is different components and it's got two hooks for the 22 centimetre. So a 22 centimetre gator gun, two hooks. You've got a longer body, so I prefer to have one, one near the front and one, one near to the before the before before the tail, basically. Um, and what I've done on this one is slightly different. Same BFT flex head. You could use a shallow screw in, in place of the flex head. Exactly the same. Shallow screw just runs shallower. Flex head for a bit of weight, so it's, it's you can make the rigs to suit. Um, and basically, split ring. The difference on this one, that split ring is a is a strong split ring. That's a solid. Um, I think it's about like 180 pound um, split ring. I don't want that to break this time. Split ring, swivel. Two more split rings that are both solid and a pin joining them. And then off that, that's the important bit, is a separate split ring and my treble hook. And that split ring there is a one that is a weak split ring. So you've got three split rings next to each other, four in plug close proximity and there's only one that's a weak one so if I get snagged that one will break away and I will lose one hook and one split ring then we've got again swivel split ring swivel split ring again all strong ones we've got a pin and off the last pin is a weak split ring and then my hook um, I will try I'll do it I will try to get some good maybe a, a diagram or something on this video to show you but basically oh, that should come okay that should show okay basically that's my rig lots of swivels lots of split rings um, and I'm happy with that you're only you're only slight niggle I'll put it I'll just stick it in the bait so you can see pin it I'm gonna try and pin it so it's it's tight and that there's nothing hanging you don't want a big bow in your line in, in your sorry a big bow in your in the swivel, you want it tight, so I tend to bend me low, stick it in, just a little jiggle, stick it in, it's just too far. To try and keep that keep that flush on the body as best you can. Because what'll happen sometimes is these hooks swing about and they do get caught on it and I won't and I won't say they do they, don't, they do get caught on it and the last thing you want is that to go out getting tangled up. Now some people won't won't like that and if you don't like that Titanium, make it, make it, you know, crimp your, crimp your uh, lure exactly the same. So I've decided to use this. Um, sometimes I stick, I just stick, if I'm casting, if I'm casting, I'll stick me, my back hook in there. Um, if I'm trolling it, I, I don't worry too much. But if, when sometimes you're casting, we do, they will get tangled up. You can see there, your hooks, your hooks can get tangled. So that, that is one thing. So I'm trolling it out a minute. However, all you need to do is just change how many split rings you've got how many swivels you've got, how many hooks you've got, but that's basically what I've been using there, and that's been catching fish, again, the breakaway rig, so, breakaway rig, and if pike gets that, either hook, your lure is swinging free, and hopefully that'll, that'll help it, and here's, this is a smaller version, a 17 centimetre on the same, same swivel and screw rig, so you've got a, I've got quite a heavier jig head on that one, you can see, 25 gram, strong split ring, strong swivel, strong split ring, strong swivel, strong split ring with a with a pin on it, and then off of it. And the last thing is a is a weak split ring and your hook. And again, pin it in, and it's it is that simple. I, I, I like that. I love the, the 17 centimeters are just really nice size bait. Um, one hook, so it's not it's not there's not too many hooks about. There you go. You know that's going to get that's going to get engulfed. That hook's going to do its job. It's hanging free. Obviously, when you're in, when you're running through a wall, it'll it'll just hang behind like that. I like that. 
Uh, and you've got no, you've got as opposed with that one we were doing them before with jig heads, and jig heads popping up like that, like, like this one on the big shed. The old, this is how we also used to do them. Um, and you can you can see on there it's it's basically ripped, ripping the top of the low. That's just through casting, catching fish. I mean, I don't think that has this one. It's got a few teeth marks on it, so it's not done loads of fish. This one has some teeth marks there. Um, and already it's ripping at the top, so that's the difference. You can see this one's got. Well, I mean, how mashed is that? Absolutely mashed up. It's had, it's had countless fish on that already. Um, but you can see, obviously, apart from the teeth marks, it's not getting ripped by your own your own equipment, and that's that's the benefit I like if, if you do it using this. But it's up to you whether you make a whether you use wire or you use a split ring method. Um, I do like the split rings and um, swivels. The good thing about the swivels is, is they're not getting uh, mangled by the pike. You know, wire, even even titanium wire after a while gets can get kinked, um, and you start to lose it, um, faith in it. But there's no reason why you can't use the same system. Again, look, that's a pig shad that I rigged exactly the same, using the titanium, 50 flex head, strong split ring, swivel, and then a weak split ring there, double crimped. I think that's actually. Um, I might be 50 pound wire, 50 pound wire, dull crimp, swivel, you've got a pin again, weak split ring, so you're only ever going to lose a little bit, and that's, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. If you don't want to use swivels, that's, your, that's, that's another method. Um, to, I'd rather go, I'd go titanium than, um, than seven strand or whatever, but seven strand does a job, I, I've used seven strand lo loads, it does a good job. It, it looks a bit untidy, I've probably got one somewhere, in fact they have. One that I've pulled off before. And there we go. It's another rig I've used before, you can see. It's got one of my old. And you can see the kinking with the wire. But it's caught some fish. It'll probably still go a little bit longer, but you just start to doubt it when it gets some kinks in it. You just start to doubt it, but if ever were desperate, you know, the hooks are still pretty sharp. But I can just rob the gear off it. Use that split ring, use that swivel, use that pin, use those hooks, and just get rid of that wire. So, um, you can see I've just now got a massive pile of jig heads, various sizes, massive jig heads. I mean that's I don't know what that is, that's probably about it's probably about 80 gram. It's about 80 gram, but I've got various jig heads um, and I'm not using them. Because I'm preferring that now. I pinched that idea off of um, Alexander Lexen of uh, from Leech um, and Gator. He, he's, he was using the swivel method, I noticed it on one of the videos, so uh, I thought oh, I'll give that a go, it looks quite good, so I'll give it a go and I've, I've enjoyed using it. Now here he's been using the um, the shop bought um, BFT stingers, so they're basically they're basically a titanium one, where has that one gone? They're basically like a titanium, a couple of titanium stingers, uh, you can get them from Low Lounge if they've got them, so you can use the, one, the same ones that you use on pig shads, um, but you can use them on the you want to see a comparison between a pig shad and a gator gun. Um, but that, that works. Um, and what else have we, have we done it on? How about that? Savage gear. Real eel. Same thing. Swivels, split rings. And that, 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 that runs lovely. Looks nice. And it just still has that body roll little bit of a bit of a weight and you can quickly you know you can quickly take that off and put a larger um put a larger heavier one if you want to work a little bit deeper if you're fishing some deep water so it's a quick switch so just have a load of spares i know it's expensive buying everything to start off with but um if you buy buy plenty of spares of jig heads i mean look at got a massive pile of hooks in there it's probably not the best i need to sort that out but there's basically a load of hooks i've got spare hooks any issue with bent hooks, um, I can just change it really quickly. Any issue with um, a hook stuck in a pipe and it's a bit of a dodgy hook up, cut it, with your, cut it with your cutters and get rid of it and put a new one on. Loads of spare bits in here, shallow screws, it's a bit of a jumble split bits, swivels, new weak ones. And I know which one they are because they they're different to um, whatever, but. Uh, just for getting all the um, 
all the gear. To be honest, a lot of it I've, bu I've built up over time, you know, like the hooks. I bought massive packs off Chico before. Uh, I bought loads of hooks, so I've always got plenty of hooks. But everything else, you know, just a little bit. If you have, I know Lula just got got a lot of stuff, so I'll tell you it goes straight there. Uh, the BFT flex heads, the BFT stinger, um, stinger packs, various ones, large ones and small ones. I think or large ones and mediums or something. Um, I hadn't checked, but it's usually, usually got swivels. It's usually got split rings. I think he's got some. I've got some weak split rings if I remember right. So have a look there. If you can't find in it after that, you just have to scout around at eBay places like that. It'll, it'll sell them, but. Um, I think Lola just got got a lot of this kind of stuff. Um, as for as for the gators, the gator gums, um, they're going to be there's going to be some new stinger stingers coming out pretty soon actually. We haven't we got them just yet, but there's going to be some stingers coming out. So exactly, they'll be like the same as the BFT ones, but it'll be made. I think the BFT ones are a little bit longer from what I've seen, a little bit too long. But that's a, that's the beauty of making your own. You can customize it to whatever size you want. But I'm liking that. You can see how to repair that, you just keep, keep catching fish. So, 17 centimetre. What is this? Three, three split rings that are strong, two swivels that are strong, one pin, one weak split ring, and one hook. If you get a selection of hooks, size 1 0, 2 0, 3 0, that should do most of your pie claws. In fact, Chico does all those. Eagle claws, quite, you know, real sharp. They also bend out of you know uh, snags pretty easy, so you know you've got you've got your weak split ring, but you've also got the the hook itself will bend. Um, but they're good, cheap enough to buy a load. Just buy buy just buy a mixed pack of one oh two oh three oh, and then get used to you know going what you think fits. You can see you know there's and two hooks are actually different sizes, but they look okay, and that'll do me. Um, on the larger larger version, I've gone for a, for a a slightly bigger hook. It might be a two-o. In fact, that might be three-o on that one. But I think I think two-o is probably pretty good. But you know, you just want something to be to be hanging out there so that when they grab, there's some hook straight away. It's touching. You can see the sticky sharp then. So you're not going to miss fish on that. One hook's plenty. You don't need more than that on this 17 centimeter. Um, and the good thing about that as well is, you know, if you see if you see that inside a pike's mouth. You've got a rough, a rough idea where that hook is. You've got a good idea that that hook's there, so you go on the other side for the gill, and you know your fingers are safe. When you've got two, it's like when you're dead baiting, and you've got two, you know, you've got two hooks on. You've got a flying treble. It's, it's always a danger, but you've only got one in, so that's a good option. If you, if you're quite nervous around pike, still you're still new, go for a 17 centimeter. Uh, 45 gram is a gator gum. 45 gram plus your, I mean that's a 25, but a five gram, 10 gram. Um, flex head, so you're looking at you know 50 to 60 gram low. It's a decent sized pike low. A pair of split ring pliers is what you need. We've got, we can say we've got loads of split rings, loads of crimps, double barrel crimps, and it's what you know. If it, you, you build up your spares, and then in time you can just mess about and do what you want and have a play about and, and do your rigs to suit. There's no right or wrong to be honest, but. I'm liking that at the minute. That's really good. I mean, we, we were out. Um, we were out the other weekend, me and Adi, and we fished around the bridge. And you just know that bridges are just snaggy. And uh, I must have got this. I must have got that low snagged up four times. Four times, and every time that week. I need to buy some actually. That week split ring broke, and I got everything back except a week split ring. Um, and you know. I would mention how my rigs evolved a little bit. The first rig, um, weak split ring. So everything, everything there you lose at that weak split ring. Yeah, which is not too bad. It's not you've only lost a quid, but you know you've lost a quid rather than a, rather than your low. Um, the difference on this one is I evolved to basically just put the weak split ring at that end, and then you could do exactly the same on that. Just put a weak split ring there rather than tying straight to wire, so I'm twisting straight onto your hook. Put a weak split ring before your hook, and you're not you're not going to lose anything but your um, but your hook and your split split ring. So that, that's what I'd do if I were you. Is make sure it's on it's on the hook at the end. 
and you know that's all you're gonna lose and you know quick quick two minutes i mean these are these split rings are, are pretty pretty cheap uh, sorry pretty soft and you can open up really easy and like i said they're, they're, they're bending out at 40 pound if i were fishing a reservoir or a, or a big lake um i'm not gonna i'm not gonna be worrying as much about snags so especially if i'm fishing for big fish i, I think there's a chance of a big fish i'll take that weak split ring off and put just put, just put a strong one on so i've got no no weak point at all i don't want to I want to lose a big fish let's say we're fishing you know if i ever went back to langdig fed again you know place where british record came from um i don't want to lose a british record because i've got a weak split ring on now even though a weak split ring is rated 40 pound it doesn't take a 40 pounder to open it up a big fish twisting on that and it'll open up they're pretty they're pretty soft these these weak split rings um it'll open up on it so uh one advantage of having the swivels is no matter what it twists it can't actually get any any leverage on that on that split ring and i found that in position you can i can twist it and i'll be able, you know a pipe will be able to twist it off but it can't do it because of all them swivels however i don't want anything you know i don't want any weak point if i'm fishing for big fish um imagine if me and Eddie just by any chance got to fish in sweden i'd be taking those weak weak, uh, weak split rings off um, so just think about where you're fishing if, you, if you're fishing rivers uh, if you're casting front bank a lot on, on ponds and, and lakes then you might want to put a weak split ring on but uh, if you're fishing from a boat or you're fishing for big fish just don't have a weak split ring you'd rather lose a would you, what would you rather lose a 15 20 quid low or a massive pike so you just gotta you just gotta balance it out to whatever whatever suits your situation so before i go um if you want any gator gums uh there's none available in the uk there's no shop in the uk that has them so you need to get onto leechstore.com um leech store's got a, um all the gator product gator products on the gator rods and the gator lows that you've seen me and eddie using uh, all leech products for hats and uh, sunglasses and, you know the, uh, the hoodies that we wear um, and if you do buy anything don't forget to use a code river, river biker um, why have a called myself river biker i can't even say but use a code river biker 20 percent off so it makes it makes a massive difference um, and we're going to catch some fish this winter